I feel so blessed to have the close relationship that I have with our Lord. Anytime I go into the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, immediately I feel his presence and his warmth in a very special way. We have something really unique. So my usual hour is at 11 a.m. every day. I go into adoration. Well, yesterday, this thing happened that I, I really shouldn't tell you about. Okay, I will. Well, there was this other adorer, and at first I could tell something was wrong with her, but then she started crying really loud. I was like, I can't even hear him talk to me right now, okay? Because you are so loud. I didn't actually say that out loud, but you know, eventually I decided somebody needed to say something. And so I very gently told her that she needed to cry in the presence of someone special. She should just go get a counselor. My soul is like a spider on the end of a long thread that God can just swipe at any time and cast me into the fires of hell. Hell is a dark and terrible place. Every time I make a mistake, I can feel the demons pulling me back. You know what it's like when you burn your hand taking the cake out of the oven or lighting a godless cigarette and burns with a fearful pain? And what do you do? You go to the kitchen and slap a little butter on it to take the pain away. Well, I know that there is no butter in hell. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, so I love to evangelize on the internet, um, showing people the, the truth, the, the, their errors, bring people to the light. Oh, come on, man. No, no. I'm usually very soft-spoken. Oh, get that slippery slope. Come on, man. We're better than that. I like to articulate the truth. Junk, junk, junk. You know, sometimes they're, they're just very stubborn and hard-headed and, and take a while to see the truth. Uh oh here comes the killer punch. <laughs> yeah! Woo! But I'm, I'm usually very calm and gentle uh, when I'm on the internet. Oh, you! Oh! I am the champion. Um, yes. I love to evangelize on the internet. Well, I mean, first it goes to my family, um, but but all of you in this in this school too. Uh, Mr. Horace, could you help me with this oh, question? Yeah. Of course, killed. I love to help my students. Oh yeah. I, I try to keep it hidden though. You know? Here, Bob, make sure you get the picture of this on uh, Instagram. So okay. I can share my hospitality. So right, right, one. right here. I, I like to to think of myself as a humble guy. All right, so we talked about the virtue of love, and before we talk about the ways that Jesus loved in the gospel, I thought we talked about what are the ways that I. Oh, shoot. Are you good? Oh, uh, the missile horse will help here. Oh, okay, okay. Thank How are you? you okay? But, but really, every second of the day, I'm, I'm trying to love people. Doctor! Is there a doctor? What is humility to you? How do you practice that? It, it's less of a practice. It's more who you are. And uh, humility is my middle name. All right, just know, Mr. Horse, the saint of kindness. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How do I love? Who do I love? And most importantly, is there any time that I don't love anyone? I'd say my favorite verse is when Jesus, Jesus tells us uh, to pray in secret. I think that applies to like everything in life, like even the, the loving acts that we do. Like we should do them in secret because it's there that our Father will repay us in secret. Oh, Mr. Horst, it's been like 20 minutes. I just I need to go to the bathroom. Just go on, Mary Mother. <laughs>